Hi, this is Adam from the Chelsea Game Room, and with me is my better half, Brandy. Hi! Some of you have asked who she is. She's real. I'm a real person, yes. and a seamstress if you watched the last video. Yes, she's the reason I never go first in patchwork. True. <laughs> so, today we're going to open up Trogdor the board game. Yay! Ooh, he's shiny. There you go. Hey, look at that. Ooh. Been really excited about this game. Kickstarted it late last year and it finally came in last week. This is awesome. So we're gonna see what's in the box. Yay! So what how did you come about getting this? Was it like Kickstarter? What was the deal? Well, yes, it was Kickstarter and well, I mean it was a throwback to the early aughts and uh Trogdor and Strong Bad and the entire Homestar Runner uh crew. I, I, I saw it and it was like uh, immediate, here's my money. I didn't even know what the game was about. I just saw Trogdor and I'm in. That's awesome. So how many of us can play this? Is this something that well, just I'm, you and I play or we play with the kids? Well, I'm going to go to the back of the box. Apparently I can play it by myself. Oh, great. Uh, I can win. I want, might not see him for a while, huh? Yes. Up to six, up to six people and let's see, 30 to 60 minutes and apparently uh, only uh, people, the cheats that are 14 and up. So this is meant for... I guess teenagers, not really sure why. I guess it's because of the burninating of the, uh, the countryside and the peasants and the thatched roof cottages. So it's a good idea for us to play this first before we decide to play it with our kids who are eight and 11, just to make sure that there's not anything inappropriate. Because I mean, yes. it is a hilarious show. So. Yes. Okay. I'm a uh, big fan of this. And uh, you can see the big beefy arm has made it there. Uh, big beefy arm, just yes. like you, one. Oh, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see it. Let's open it, right? Yes. All right, here we go. Ooh. All right. Today we're going to open up Trogdor the board game. I'm excited. In all of his majesty. Consummate V's and this big beefy arm here and the little wingly dingly doos here. I've been waiting for a long time to have some good times with Trogdor. So Let's crack into this thing and see what's see what's inside, shall we? All right, Saran's off and get that. And ta-da! All right. So first here we have the rule book. Good quality paper. Several pages here. Looks pretty good to me box over to the side. Uh, first thing I'd like to comment on, let's pick out these ooh, these pieces. The molded pieces look really good here. Let's see, get that in the frame there. Trogdor and all of his splendor. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Look at that. Ooh, I'm getting used to this. Let's see him and his Good majesty. Ooh. Take a look at all these other little people here. Not really sure what they are yet. And this little guy looks like he's got a little dual arrow thing. Excited to see what that's all about. Don't remember that in any of the cartoons. Another one of these little knight figures. Oh, these must be the thatched roof cottages. Let's pull the one out that's on fire, shall we? Oh, comes off. Oh, here we go. So you've got the piece there, and then when I'm assuming the burnination begins, you can flip it on over. And I have to admit, these are probably, probably the peasants. Let's see. Yep. And here are some of the peasants. You get one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And, oh, okay. I see here. You get this little fire thing. 
that shows it when they are on fire or when they have been burninated. All right, let's put these aside here. I'm gonna pull these guys up. I'm gonna put the Trogdor right here in the box just so we can keep them aside here. Uh, another piece of the board here, we've got a little uh, flat more 2D Trogdor, uh, Trogdor meeples. I think this is probably going to be my favorite one, the little 2D on the uh, paper background. I believe this one was Coach Z's uh, Dagron. Uh, then Strong Mad and his doing his his thing. Uh, can't remember which one did this one. And then Strong said with his Kyo Shiro whatever shading mechanisms, he was trying to improve upon Strong Bad's uh, Trogdor, and well, we saw how that worked out. I like these little figures; those are those are nice. So, also in the uh, bag and in the box, let's see what else we've got here. A few more uh, 2D meeples here. Okay, let's pull out this one, and then we can see the difference here. Uh, we've got that two arrow guy here and get this comparison to the, I believe this is the deluxe meeple here. You see the differences. Nice molding on those. Uh, again, let's compare the majesty between these two Trogdorp figurines. Let's see which one has more majesty. This one, this one. This guy with no majesty if it came and bit him in the face. Let's put them back down here. What's it, what else is in the box here? Uh, got a couple of card blocks of cards here. And then this one is looks like movement, how you would move your pieces. Uh, let's see here. Go through some of these cards here in a minute. Put that to the side here. These guys look like this is how you would build the board. Good weighty cards here. You'll see that they're double-sided. Again, I guess this shows regular. And then on the flip side, you see where they are been burned. I like the artwork on it. It's nice, simple, clean. And then on the back side, even cleaner as in purified by fire. Nice. Go ahead and stack those back up and get my OCD tendencies on. And stack them back in the box. We can stack them to the heavens. I don't know what we're stacking to the heavens, but that'll. I haven't read the rules yet. So, nice white bag filled with space to fill things with. Nice there. Put that to the side. I see the trog meter. It's missing some sound effects, I think. Put this little truck over on the truck meter there. Let's see. Up, oh, our friend. Just to cheat on this card, I really want to know what this is all about. Uh, I don't. Uh, items of Trogdor. Okay, that'll be fun. So let's see. This is everything that's in the box. Um, the meatballs come in their own little vacuum sealed thing for. Around with that, they fit there. All right, so here's everything that's in Trogdor the board game. You have your peasant meeples, your cottage meeples. These are the thatched roof cottage meeples. You have your night meeples, and then there's this is the trog hammer. Trog hammer. Here's this little 2D representation there too. You have your archer meeple, which is this guy here. Uh, the flame helmet meeple. So that's not what I thought earlier. Apparently, that's something special. Uh, you have your Trogdor meeples. There's six of them. Uh, you have your action cards. Uh, oh, action cards, movement cards. These are your map tiles here and here. You have 12 keeper cards and 12 item cards. These are item cards. You also have a one the void card. And on the back of the void card, also the void. And then there's also a cool little stack of mini game, and this is what Stack Into the Heavens is. This is apparently 
a little bonus game that you get that you can use to stack all your little meeples together to see, I guess, how high you can make them. So there you have it, the unboxing of Trogdor the board game. I believe online there's also some extra bonus stuff you can have on there, including a soundboard that as you're playing the game, you can go through and have different sound effects, including strong bad battle cries. There's music, background music. Uh, have a little fun playing with that too. All right, so we opened the box. We saw all the meeples and all the really cool stuff. Uh, personally, I like the uh, 3D sculpted uh, figures, and this is the deluxe edition as opposed to just that ye old basic edition. So what was your favorite thing that you saw in the box? I don't know. I think it was probably the void cord of all things. That's the thing that made me laugh the, like, the moment that came out. That was fantastic. Well, what's on the back of the void? Also uh, the void. Also the void. I like that. <laughs> I like that there was a little side game in there that we could play. Because yes. I think even if we might not be able to play the whole game with the kids, we could probably use pieces of it and make up our own little game, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be fun. We'll let you know what Adam thinks about it because he is the gaming expert. So um, I'm the one who's like, I don't understand how to play it. And he just tells me what to do. So ready to play? Yes. Let's go. All right. Bye. <laughs> That's exactly how he sounds, too. Wait, wait. He doesn't make any he noise. He doesn't sound like the Roadrunner. Bum, ba, dum. Bum, 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 bum. Meow.